What an exciting day here on the homestead. I think one of the most asked questions that we get here on our YouTube channel is how can we make money and live the lifestyle that you're living? One thing I want to express to you guys is what you're watching and what you're seeing right now if you're just tuning in, if you're a new subscriber to our channel, is eight years worth of blood, sweat, and tears, right? None of this stuff happened overnight. We saved, we struggled, um, we hauled water, we did a lot of things to get us to this point. That's right, Mr. Rooster. So just remember that when you watch these, don't think that you're gonna show up at your homestead and things are gonna happen overnight, but you need a plan, a plan to make money on the homestead. And that's one of our goals here with Stacy and myself showing you field trip Fridays and talking to people um, you know, that are doing this lifestyle. <laughs> giving you ideas of ways that you can make money so you can leave that job that you hate out of the city that you stresses you out and so that you can breathe fresh air, grow your own food, and connect with nature. That's one of the things we try to focus on is showing you guys how you can get out here and make money on the homestead and live this life. We've showed you guys a lavender farm where she turned her passion into a business. We've taken you guys to market gardens and introduced you to market gardeners who are making over six figures growing crops such as like kale and spinach and carrots and beets, stuff like that. We've taken you guys um, to many different, like the alpaca farm where that guy was raising alpacas and then shearing them and then he makes products out of their fiber. So lots of different ways that you guys can make money on the homestead and that's why Stacy and I put out those videos to help motivate you and help you think outside the box. Just like today's video where we're gonna be talking about a sawmill and unboxing our first one here on the homestead, then this can bring money to your homestead as well. And it's really not that complicated.
Now one thing about the sawmill so far is that they really packaged it well. They shipped it really good. They, everything was strapped down with metal straps. And actually this package has actually been sitting on the side of the barn for quite a while. And I just put a tarp over it, a couple of them, and it stayed dry, everything's intact, everything looks good. And you guys uh, did notice that I actually hauled it over here to the pad with a chain on the top. So that's important because usually you get stuff shipped to you and they put it in crappy crating and when you get it, it's all dinged, scratched, busted, and messed up. So we're off to a good start. And not to mention these are good one buys so unlike most pallets we'll be able to reuse these for projects around the homestead. All right, we're gonna show you guys a real quick safety feature so you never saddle a dead end on a cable like this, right? So this is what you call the dead end, and this part right here is the saddle. See that right there? Uh, can you see it? Here, let me show it to you. Make sure you guys can see that. See that, the big end there, not the arch, but the fat end where it all clamps down, that's called the saddle. You always want the saddle on your live wire not on your dead wire. So I'm gonna show you guys how that looks. And this is not just on this, this is on any time that you're cinching up a wire like this and you're using these saddles, you wanna make sure that you never saddle the dead end. And that is your safety tip for the day. So this requires two, so I'll put another one on here right now, and then I'll make sure that they're straight and make sure that they're saddled properly.
battery all right that's all we got for today we got a lot of it assembled. We had a couple other things we had to do around the homestead, so we had to break apart, and then we're gonna get back together on the next video. We're gonna oil up the engine, get the gas in there, and then put it all together with the blade and the whole nine, and fire it up for you guys, and show you what it's like, and maybe even grab one of these uh, skinnier pieces of log, just to kind of put it on there, and just see how that thing just cuts right through like butter. One thing I wanna talk about real quick is the company. Uh, the Hooden family has been in business since the 1940s. Um, they're out of New York and they're a family run business just like we were talking about earlier. Their passion was forestry and they created a business around their passion. And now they service all of North America freely uh, with all these great sawmills and other forestry tools. As a matter of fact, we were actually introduced to them by our friends at the Log Ox, um, a family run business uh, that we're friends with here on the homestead, which you're gonna see a lot of coming up because we got a lot of firewood videos coming up and they really help us harvest our firewood with a simple um, yet effective invention that they came up with and they were able to turn their passion into an income as well. So hopefully all this is really inspiring for you guys. <laughs> But the Hooten family uh, adopted Hudson is uh, what happened. The son was involved with the business too. And uh, it's just a really good story and we really like working with them so far. The one thing about this mill, this is called the Warrior Sawmill. And every time they sell a Warrior Sawmill, they're actually donating uh, money to the veterans. So that's near and dear to our hearts. A lot of you guys have been with our channel for a long time and you know that we're a military family. Our sons are in the military and uh, we have a good bond with service to our country and patriotism. So good job on you guys for that. And we're really looking forward to seeing the next stage, stage of this Hudson Sawmill, the Warrior. And also I'm gonna drop for you guys in a little clip right here to kind of give you some bullet points that Hudson put together uh, for you guys to enjoy. And again, look forward to more videos to come as soon as we get back from the Homesteaders of America conference where Hudson is also a sponsor and so is Logox. These are people that are running family businesses that are investing back 
into the community, guys. So if you guys have money to spend and you're looking for ways to improve your homestead, please consider all the people that we talk about here on our channel and maybe many other people talk about on their channels because we are supporting and promoting family business. And when we can do that, everyone's a winner. cool video so those were some of the bullet points um, of the warrior sawmill this thing can uh, log up to 36 inches one of the things I was looking for when I was looking at getting the sawmill was I wanted to recreate our log cabin so stay tuned for some uh, video of us making log cabins and possibly even making them for sale to you how cool would that be if you guys could get an off-grid with Doug and Stacy log cabin shipped right to your property so you could start your homestead I mean, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's kind of been a, a thought and a dream of mine. So it's just another way that we can, you know, use our hands, follow our dreams, and, uh, you know, live the life we want to live. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you guys on the next one. Leave a comment down below if you've heard the saying, you got to spend money to make money. Once you guys get something like this on your homestead or other things in place, your infrastructure and everything else, everything starts kind of smoothing out and you can start finding your way. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below. Share this with your friends and stay tuned for more Hudson Sawmill Warrior videos coming up.